In this session, I am going to take two MCQs from the CMA US Part 1, Section A. These are two questions which uh, has been given from the students who are enrolled into the recorded classes. They have these queries, so I thought of making a video out of it. Most of the queries are solved over a voice note, but those who are not solved over a voice note, I make a video of it. And because I'm making a video of it, I upload it on public also on the YouTube channel. So here we start, a company reported first quarter revenues, 10 million, great. Gross profit, 25%. Operating income, 15%. So whenever you see here, the best way to solve this is, take a pen, take a paper, write it down, write it down. Okay, sales, 10 million. Gross profit, 25%. Operating profit, 15%. Write that down write that down it will give you a lot of clarity like how i cannot be able to show you what's written in the book so what i'll do is i will uh, take down here and uh, put it in front of you where is the cursor okay let me just mark it here 25 percent is the gross margin 15 percent is my operating margin to reduce the overhead expenses, a consultant recommends that the company outsource some of its operating activities beginning from the second quarter. This recommendation is anticipated to reduce the operating expense. Okay, operating expense only. It's going to reduce my operating expense by 20%. Note that down. Without affecting sales volume. So sales volume is not going to change. The company has an income tax rate of 35%. Okay. Assuming cost of sales remains at 75%. So when he says it remains at 75%, so it is understood, right? Anyhow, my uh, gross margin is 25%. It means that the cost of sales at that time also was 75%. This time also it is going to be 75%. What is the impact on the income statement if the company implements the recommendation? And here, if you just see, the answer is given, the options are given in such a way. Gross profit will increase by 8%. Operating income will increase by 8.7%. Operating income will increase by 200,000. Operating expenses will reduce by 300,000. So the options itself is like, you know, a clumsy stuff. So it's like a real time, great question for you guys. Great question to learn also. How do you solve this type of question? So first of all, when these type of calculations are given, you can do it in two ways. What you can do, you can start taking one by one as an option and see whether they are right or not. And whichever suits in well right there, you can go ahead with it. Or the next way what you can do is you can take down the profit how it is right now and take down the profit by reducing that 20% operating expense and have your profit and then compare which statement is right. So in this scenario, uh, let me just do it here. Suppose my operating income is 15%, my gross profit margin is 25%. So it is understood here. 10 million is my sales. I hope everybody is following. If yes, then like this video, share it with the CMA student. Comment down below if you're watching this video. And then 10 million is my sales minus my cost of sales because my this profit margin is 25%. It means 2.5 million is my gross profit. So my cost of sales is 7.5 million simple okay then what is next minus operating expenses now we don't know what is the operating expense but we know what is the operating income it is 15 percent of my sales so operating income is 1.5 million now in this this is 1.5 million the difference between the two is 1 million okay 1 million is the difference it is understood here. Now this uh, gross profit is going to 1.5 million. Now suppose, what is he saying here? My operating expense, okay? Operating expense is down by 20%. What is my operating expense? This. So everything remaining constant here, this 10 million is 10 million only. This 7.5 million is 7.5 million only my gross profit is going to be 2.5 million only my operating expense is going to go down 20 percent this is where the key is see this was possible only because i wrote down here everything
that's why it was possible suppose in my mind only i am thinking on seeing this question ke ye how do i do it how do i do it i am going nowhere it's always recommended a book a pen a paper should be there with you and you should be doing your rough notes there this is the biggest mistake why which i did while i was preparing while seeing the question there itself on the calculator only trying to do all the stuff no have a pen paper try solving there then and there then you'll get the answer because see right now it's becoming really good for me now this 1 million going down by 20% this will be how much 800000 this 800000 if i remove it what would be my uh, gross uh, sorry operating profit it would be 1.7 million so this is my operating income operating income what is the difference between the two what has happened after the implementation my operating income has gone up at what value has it gone up 200000 yes or no is there an option c operating income will increase by 200000 at this point of time i can directly go and uh, you know select this as an option select this as an option because this is right for me but just take another minute also see the other options my gross profit will increase by 8% just see gross profit same same no change then operating income will increase by 8.7% so is it 8.7% let me just take how much is my operating income which is increasing 200000 is my operating income which is increasing divide that by uh 1.5 million that is 13.33% increase so 13.33% it is not he is saying 8.7 so this option goes also down then he says my operating in expenses will be reduced by 300000 not at all i don't think so what happened here 200000 it went down right 20% is 200000 so 200000 went down not 300000 so the answer is option c i hope that you guys are able to understand this is in the best manner i could have solved this question for you guys okay so let us see the next question if you are watching this video till now okay you need to like this video you need to like this video and share it also so that more people can see this video and this is that me i'll i'll do more videos like this if you want me to do more videos like this you have to like it you have to share it with people so now we have our next question this is kind of a straight forward question if you have conceptual clarity on this now an adjusted trial balance at the december 31st year 6 includes the following account balances common stock 600000 800000 treasury stock 50000 net real un, net unrealizable holding loss on available for sale securities 20000 retained earnings appropriated for uninsured earthquake losses so this is a retained earnings retained earnings unappropriated means it is a general retained earnings fine what amount should be reported as total equity in the year december 31st year 6 now in this scenario if you have conceptual clarity answer is like this and i am going to answer it also like that just see it here common stock yes additional paid in capital yes it comes under my equity treasury stock treasury stock is that stock which i have bought back now that stock what should i do i should minus it from my equity so let me just put that into brackets 50000 minus then un net unrealizable holding loss on available for sale securities then again it is a loss for me this loss should also be deducted and then this retained earnings should be included and retained earnings unappropriate should also be included so in short what i have to do 600000 okay 600000 plus 800000 minus 50000 minus 20000 plus 150000 plus 200000 which gives me 
I hope you guys are able to see it on this phone. If you are able to see it well and good, if not, then still I have put it on the table, on the screen. So the answer here is A, 168000. So I hope that this short session which I have done, the small session which I have done was highly helpful for you. If this was helpful for you, then uh, make sure that you like this video, share this video with the CMA aspirant. And uh, if you are looking out for the CMA US regular classes, recorded classes, if you want me to solve your questions like this, then you should be enrolled into my classes. If you are already enrolled into my classes and not asking me doubts, then ask your doubts. I'm going to make content like this, share it with you directly. And in that way, others will also be benefited. Okay. So enroll into the classes. If you're already enrolled, ask me your questions, ask me your queries. No matter, I'll be a bit delayed in answering it, but I'll sure short answer it. Okay. Thank you much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next session.